good to see you again. Um, today we're going to be talking about a white peach tea from David's Tea, of course. This one is called White Peach, and it is a white tea. It says, the white tea, this irresistibly juicy blend of white tea, peaches and cream, is our new love. Ingredients, apple, white tea, apple, pumice, marigold flowers, peach, natural, and artificial flavoring. Now, this is one of those teas that I would say is a pretty tea. This is actually a really nice tea to look at. It's got like really nice chunks in there. I am like down to nothing because we've been drinking a lot of this. I've been actually putting it in the pitchers, so I'm getting really low. I'm going to have to go get some more here soon. But anyway, here, uh, yeah, this is what it typically looks like. I was just checking to see if this is just like the bits that end up at the bottom, you know? But no, this is what it typically looks like. So you can see the apple chunks and marigold flowers, um, the white tea. It's actually really pretty when you look um, in the bag. But I love those chunks of apple and I think it's peach. Oh, no, that's peach. Mm. Wow. Really pretty. Anyway, so, um, like I said, I've been making this one in the pitcher. This is the kind of peach tea, you know, because peach teas can vary. I'm already giving a review before I actually taste it. Um, but the truth is I've been drinking this for a little while now. This one's kind of through to my heart, you know, because I got this one at the Palisades Mall in New York. And, uh, well, of course, I was really excited to, you know, see a David's Tea. Even though I know like, David's Tea is the same everywhere, you know, but still, just reminds me of being at the Palisades Mall. But anyway, um, this one is more of um, a peach rings, the candy, the gummy candy. This is kind of more of that flavor. Um, but as always, I try my teas plain, just, you know, as is, no sweetener, cream, nothing. Um, so I did one perfect David's Tea Perfect tablespoon, teaspoon, whatever. Um, and I, because this is a white tea, I brew it like a green. I don't wait for the water to boil. I just kind of, until it feels hot. Um, I would say no, nothing above like 160, 65. I could be wrong, but I, I just... I don't take any risks, okay? I just, you don't want it boiling. Um, and I brew it for, I think this one I did like a minute and a half. Minute, minute and a half. Um, it says to brew, ugh, whew, it says to brew, oh, it says to brew at 195. I don't really go that hot. I go pretty not hot. <laughs> um, three to five minutes. I no. You you should do maybe two, maybe three, depending on how hot it is. But if you're going to 195 degrees, maybe like one minute. <laughs> um. Anyway, so um, it brews up. Well, first of all, still smells like that um peach ring flavor. Um in the bag it's very very sweet very peach very sweet smelling very um peach rings smell <sighs> another really good tea this has been like our favorite one for the summer i i've also made like a peach puree i've kind of just like chopped up some peaches steamed them a little bit and then i puree them in like i have a really nice vitamix um, but anything works, I'm just saying I, I, I love putting my Vitamix to use. Um, puree it really nice, strain it, and then I add that as my sweetener to my tea sometimes. It really brings out the peach flavor and 
um, yeah, it's really good. Um, and it still has like a peach rings flavor, or smell rather, brewed up. So it comes out more of like a kind of clear amber color. Um, really nice, nice color there. I can't say I've actually sipped this hot. I've been drinking this iced, like, all summer. And of course, it's delicious. It's got like that. It's so hard to describe the difference between peach and white peach, but I guess white peach is more of like, um, I don't want to say artificially flavored, but not like the natural peach that we're used to. White peach is kind of pungent in the nose a little bit. Little, a little bit. Um, this one's really good. I would say that um, because it's a fruit and sweet, I prefer it iced. I love it iced. I would recommend it iced. Um, but there's no reason you can't drink it warm like this. Like when in the summertime, I mean in the wintertime, if you're kind of wanting to get away from the spicy or the warm tones or warm flavors, pop a fruit one in your, in your steeper. I could enjoy this warm every now and then. Definitely. Um, so yes, I really, really like this one. Um, I, peach is my favorite of anything, like peach at Bath and Body Works, peach makeup, peach lotion, peach drinks, peach ice cream, peach slushies, peach everything for me. Um, and I would say out of all of the peach teas at David's Tea, have I tried them all? I think there may be one that I missed. Can't think of it at the top of my head. But so far, top peach tea. Oh, and there's one from Celestial Seasonings. Celestial, is that what it's called? I forget. Um, I'm gonna do a review on that. I bought like a box of Celestial like pitcher packs and they had like blackberry, black cherry, peach, raspberry. It's so good. Like, we've been drinking that one all summer, too. I'm gonna do a review on that one, um, because I really highly recommend that. But anyway, that's my review on the white peach tea from David's Tea. If you've tried this tea, please let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao!